Social media is so important. Um, I'm all over social media. I mean, I, I follow me on social media. I use it professionally and socially, and I think it is so important to write a to, to write a line of either keeping two very separate worlds, having a social world uh, that's personal and private, and having a professional world. But I, I think what is important as an actor today is that you need to have an online presence because there are people out there that are so good at it and that are winning at having a social media presence and it makes them appear bigger and more involved than they actually are from the get-go. They create something out of nothing instantly. They make us pay attention. They do it in a great professional way. Uh, they aren't negative. It's amazing. I mean, I, I have, I'm friends with so many actors on social media and, and, and so many actors are friends with me on social media and it's amazing watching and reading the rants that I see people in this industry do about the industry, the actual internal self-hate that we have about our business. And I just want to remind you that you are friending and you are friending people that, that run this business. I mean, you know, I, my employers follow me on social media and I have to, you know, I, I'm constantly thinking about that. And it's amazing just reading the rants, you know, that I, that I specifically see, you know, actors do all the time about how unhappy they are about either themselves in this business or how unhappy they are about other people in this business. And it, it's, it's not an attractive thing. It's and, and it ultimately, you know, it doesn't make me want to hang out with you. Which at the end of the day is kind of, you know, we are all this this a room f filled of of artists that all just want to hang out with people that make us feel good about ourselves. So when we read this rant on Facebook about you know you seeing some actor you know that just went into the show and how disgusted you were by their performance, I mean. I just want to remind you that, th that you're probably friends on Facebook with, with people in that show, and they're probably not pleased with reading it. So just you, you, need to, you need to always be thinking about that on social media, but you also really need a presence. You need to actually actively be having a, a professional presence on social media. So that means having a YouTube channel with actual videos that represent you and what your skill set is right now, not what your skill set was five years ago or 10 years ago. That's something that, you know, it's really interesting. I've now been in the city for about 10 years, and there are some videos out there of actors that I was watching 10 years ago that still are the videos that come up when I Google them today. And that's not helpful because I promise you in the past 10 years that actor has changed types. And so you've got to go through every year or two and kind of look at, reassess, you know, how you're being actually, you know, displayed online and is it actually a valid and helpful and, and good representation of you. And if not, then you need to get rid of stuff um, because when, I, when an actor comes across my plate and I've never heard of them, the first thing I do is Google them, for sure. I Google you, I go on Facebook and type in your name and see what I can learn about you from there. I look you up on Twitter, I look you up on Instagram. I use everything because I need to learn everything about you. So I, uh, I, I search all of those platforms and so you need to make sure that all those platforms are either airtight and I can see nothing, which is totally cool and I totally respect that, or if they are, if I am able to actually see the actual stuff that's on them, that it's stuff that you're proud of. Just, you need to be proud of because it is, again, you know, it is what sells you. I see you way more online than I ever see you on in person. So that online presence is so important in 2016.